how to take charge of your life, how to become conscious manifester and change your life. This is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Welcome back to Spiritual Selfish Channel. As always, I'm your host, Christina Day, and I'm here to help you to focus on yourself, to raise your vibration and become conscious creator of your own life. So today's topic is about how to become in charge of your own life. And I'm going to keep it super short, super simple, because in a nutshell, it is super simple. So when majority of people start going into self-development and start understanding that, hey, I'm actually the creator of my own life, a lot of the people get overwhelmed with everything that they have to do and one of the first things of course they want to do is to freaking change their life and it's not about so much of creating that which they desire but rather running away from that which they do not want so how to do that how to change your life because so many people are wanting to do that but are not succeeding and the answer is very simple. Start thinking. And now I'm not saying that you haven't been thinking for majority of your life. But what I'm saying that we have our brain, this amazing machine that we haven't been thought how to use, how to use this computer, right? In school, we have been thought to process information, to process images, to process text. But this is not thinking. This is not conscious thinking. And I know majority of you guys have heard that we become what we think about or you become your thoughts, right? So if this statement is true, why then so many people do not have what they want? Because they don't think about that which they want. And why do they don't think about that which they want if you think about, if you become everything you think about? Because their level of belief that by thinking alone, they can ch change their life is low. They do not believe that if they just think about something, they will change it. And that's the reason the life doesn't change. Not the process itself, but your level of belief. So, for example, let me tell you, um, we all believe that in order to have energy as a humans, we have to uh, consume physical food, right? Now, we do not just believe it. Our beliefs level is so high that it's a level of knowingness. If we do not consume food, what we start to feel? We feel exhausted, we feel like we don't have energy, and we feel tired. Because our body and mind is so sold on this idea that we have to consume physical food, that there's not even an option not to consume food and have energy. Now, we all have heard of fasting, right? How it's possible that some people, including me, I have done nine day fasting where I consume zero food and I still had energy. How people go on a month of fasting and they still have energy. This fact goes, doesn't go in alignment with the belief that we have always to consume food. You see what I mean? So for someone who believes, who knows they have to have food in their mouth, in their body, in order to have food, when they do not have food, they will feel start drained, tired, and so on. Versus someone who knows that they have done this in the past and they rely on the fat from their body as a source of energy, or they can source energy from the source because we all are energy, right? Someone like this, if they do not consume food, they will not feel tired. They will not feel exhausted because their level of belief that you have to consume food always for the energy is very low. So it does not impact them. With that being said, if you want to chair take charge of your life, you have to bump up your belief that by thinking you actually can change your life. I hope that makes sense. I know it kind of sounds like, you know, uh, very confusing, 
but let me know in the comments if it does or doesn't but basically if I have done fasting in the past it has changed and shaken my belief about consuming food so if you want to change your belief about the thinking process in order to manifest your uh, dream life you have to start applying this process on small things and see the results so for example a lot of people will start with i want ten thousand dollars i want to become a millionaire and because their level of belief that with thinking you can have it is so low of course the money doesn't come in and of course they doubt the process and of course they doubt themselves but if you start with something simple as i will quit my job you think about i will quit my job and it's not just level of belief that you believe one day you will quit your job no you make a freaking decision i'm quitting my job on your level of belief it's knowingness you're so sure about this on vibrational level it is done and it's matter of time just matter of time when you go and write that resignation letter letter right so you have and then actually when you think and then when you actually quit your job and you think about back at it you notice that yes you were thinking about it it's not that just one day you went to the job and there's resignation letter written by you no you made the decision and you are thinking about it and you made it happen and this is mad and this changed your life you, you know what i'm saying it's simple so once you realize that then you start thinking about more major things in your life that you want to change and again your level of belief has to be so high for it to change because you cannot just allow possibility of yes one day i will quit my job of course it's not gonna happen right you have to know that it's done and it is done because you will do it so you have to have also a high level of self-trust and make a freaking decision so this is it for the simple lesson start consciously thinking about what you want and bump up your level of belief start believing that you actually will do it by thinking right it doesn't happen it won't happen if you do not think about it with the level of knowingness so my homework for you today think about those areas of life that you want to change and ask yourself a question was I actually thinking about that or was I just allowing possibility and just processing the information and images in my brain? Because there's a difference. Think about that what you want and know that because you are thinking about it, it is done already. Let me know, guys, if you try this, how, what are the simple examples that you practice it? Because much, most probably majority of the people are not going to go and quit their job now, right? So if you have tried this, please let me know. Drop it down in the comments for other people to see. And I talk to you in the next video. Bye.